When I look at the river, I'm seeing life. I'm seeing my partner who helps me make a living, who helps me water my crops so I can feed myself and my community. I see my ancestors using the water like I do now. I see my grandkids running the river like I'm doing now. My name is Louis Hina. I'm from Tisuki Pueblo. We say we've been around since time immemorial. The Rio Grande del Norte National Monument. This is my office, my church. In the indigenous communities, we say Earth Mom is sacred. Everything out here to us has a spirit. Our communities are connected to springs, which are connected to a river, and those rivers are connected to lakes up in the high mountains, and we're all part of that system. And this river gives life to us here in northern New Mexico. That's who we are as Pueblo people, because we only have 11 inches of rainfall out here. Everything that we do is about water. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Native Cultures Feast and Float Adventure brought to you by Los Rios River Runners, New Mexico's oldest, most experienced rafting company. I run the Native Cultures Feast and Float, a cultural educational trip on the river. Our people came through here about 950. So on either side of these canyon walls, you have all of our stories etched into these boulders here. We have uh, three boys and four girls and 13 grandchildren. All of them grew up on the river. The kids are basically the lead guides. Well, good morning, ladies morning. and gentlemen. <laughs> Welcome to the wild and scenic area of the Rio Grande. We want our children to know who they are. We tell our young people to talk about our stories, which you cannot read in the book. And they tuck them in back of their shadow which is their skirts. They tuck it in back like that, like a tail. In the regular school system, the bell rings, you learn one subject. The bell rings, you learn another subject. At the end of the day, there's no connection. This is the connection here. Some of my siblings are on this trip as well, and my mom, you'll meet her at the end of the trip. She's prepared a delicious feast for us to eat today. All our family gets together, our brothers help out. Me and my sisters go to my parents' house. We all sit together, the kids chuck the corn, so everything is prepared exactly how we prepare it when we have our actual feast days. It's home cooked New Mexico cooking. It's not like a restaurant. It's better. <laughs> I'm sure we're all looking forward to it. <laughs> yeah. Because of the Pueblos along the Rio Grande, we have water quality standards. The standards state that for me to practice my ceremonies, I have to immerse myself in the river, so the water has to be clean enough for me to do these things. That's the big difference between our river systems here and other systems across the country. The value of wild and scenic is that my grandkids, grandkids, grandkids will enjoy what we're enjoying today. More people around the world need to start listening to indigenous peoples because what we do, we do it for Earth Mom. And if you look at Earth Mom, it is one big basket and we're all the corn kernels in that one basket. So whatever happens to Earth Mom, we're all impacted. Everything who I am is here. My way of life is here. Clean air, clean water, 
the cactus, the willows, the pinon, sage, the big horn sheep, the birds that you see flying around, fishing here. This is what we use within our communities. This is home. My greatest hope for the future is that the river does not run dry for not just my kids, but for everybody's kids. This is the lifeblood of New Mexico. And this is the green belt. So if this goes, everybody's gone. When I started doing these rafting trips, I was 14 years old, and now I'm 27, so I've been on the boats for over a decade. So hopefully we keep doing these trips, because my daughter's seven, so in seven more years, you know, she might be sitting at the head of a boat telling stories. Water and I, we're one. We're always together. We start the day by saying prayers, then we end the day by saying prayers, and it's to leave the land saturated wet. And that's every day, that's our prayer.